she was taken into the RSPCA where she got attacked by another dog on her right leg and um, she basically had to go in for surgery and x-rays. Now the owner, as far as we knew, they couldn't afford the treatment so they had to surrender her in. And she was only a pup, I think about what, 12 or 13 weeks. As she had treatment on her front right leg and surgery, they sort of said combination of the right treatment was to basically put on an antibiotic, the right diet and they recommended science diet because of it, all, all the nutritious ingredients that sort of helped her develop as a pup. After the second week, she, you saw the difference in Bella, especially, you know, she was more alive. You can see it in her eyes, running around, she was active. So she was about, I think, two, maybe three kilos underweight. And, um, you know, we slowly noticed she put the weight back on. We, we noticed her coat was a lot more silkier. It was a lot more smooth. Um, her eyes, she got the sparkle in her eyes. We saw the change after two weeks. We kept Bella on the puppy food for the first year um, because she was sort of in her growth phase and it was really important for me for her to have a right start to her life. Um, she was going to grow up to be a big dog and I knew that so I wanted her to get the right nutrition for her bones and you know her coat and her eyes. So we've just transitioned over to the adult um, food at the moment and she's going well on that. Um, she loves it. Well definitely when she was a bit younger she wasn't as fast, I used to be able to catch her. So um, she's gotten quicker and playing games, she's still, you know, if not nearly the same energy levels, if not more, as when she was a pup. Um, she's healthy, lively, very active. She, she knows when you're looking after her.